Bonjour à tous. My name is Jean-Yves Labbé and I am Director of Geologic Information at Geology Québec. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to give you some information about Quebec's new plan for the development of critical and strategic minerals and about what we are doing at Geology Québec, in particular about our tools for dissemination of geologic information. My intention today is not to go through every aspect of the strategic plan, but to use uh, three particular actions in the plan to show you what's going on at Geology Québec and what new challenges this plan on critical minerals will bring us. But before going further, I would like to introduce you to Geology Québec. Geology Québec is a general direction of the mine sector of the Ministry of Energy and Natural Resources. Our mandate is the acquisition, processing and dissemination of geoscientific knowledge. In essence, we are the Geological Survey of Quebec, and our principal client is the mining industry. You will note that energy, groundwater and natural hazards um, are not under our res responsibility. Since uh, the last 10 years, our annual budget is around 15 million Canadian dollars and uh, is used mainly to conduct geological mapping, hard rock and surficial, um, geophysical surveys, principally aeromagnetics, and geochemical surveys uh, like uh, lake bottom sediments. Our regular staff is around 90 persons, but can go up to around 150 in the fieldwork season. Now some words about Quebec's plan for the development of critical and strategic minerals. The plan has been launched in, by the end of last October. It foresees investments uh, of the order of $90 million for the next five years to accelerate investments in geoscientific knowledge acquisition and exploration, to increase synergy and innovation uh, among R&D stakeholders, to consolidate the multi-user transportation, energy and telecommunication networks, to provide financial support to innovative projects uh, in different domains from exploration to recycling, and finally to stimulate investments in Quebec and support companies. This slide presents the current portrait of mining development for critical minerals in Quebec. Eight critical minerals mines are actually active uh, or in maintenance in Quebec and over 30 projects are in advanced stage of development. There is a very good potential for graphite, principally in the Proterozoic Grenville province. Uh, two mines produce nickel, copper, cobalt and PGEs in the Cape Smith Belt at the north end of the province and uh, many other regions present good potential for these substances in the Archean rocks of the superior province. Uh, with the Niobec mine, Quebec is the second largest producer of niobium in the world. Quebec is also the world's largest producer of vilmenite with the Lactio mine um, there are uh, many other promising projects for titanium and or vanadium associated with mafic complexes. Potential for lithium and rare earth elements is also very good and many projects are doing very well right, right now. Finally, zinc and copper are also produced in Quebec. Globally, uh, the Quebec plan for the development of critical and strategic minerals breaks down into four orientations, which include a total of 11 objectives and 22 actions. Three of these actions are of direct interest for Geology Quebec. We are right on the spot with the first two actions of the plan. Action 1.1.1 is to acquire new geoscientific knowledge. Action 112 is to integrate digital innovations into geoscientific data processing and mineral potential assessment. And finally, Action 421 is to promote Quebec's mineral potential and attract more foreign investment. Let's see what it means for the years to come. Action 1.1.1 Acquire new geoscientific knowledge. This action is under the responsibility of the Bureau de la Connaissance Géoscientifique du Québec, the direction in charge of the field work. This slide, this slide presents the location map of the acquisition projects for next year, 21-22. Hopefully the sanitary situation will permit it. 
last year we had to report most uh, geological mapping projects and redirect uh, our efforts on geophysical surveys. The fieldwork program for this year includes seven hard rock mapping projects in uh, orange in this list, two surficial geology projects in purple, six uh, aeromagnetic surveys in blue, with some uh, including radiometrics, and uh, two lake bottom sediments uh, geochemistry projects uh, that are in green. Projects uh, in red uh, are Plan B projects in case of an impossibility to go uh, in those isolated regions uh, due to uh, COVID-19. Projects with the yellow background in the table or the etched uh, texture in the map are projects conducted uh, under the new budgets coming from the critical mineral plan. That new budget is around $5 million per year for the next four years. Now, back to the plan on critical minerals. Action 112, integrate digital innovations into geoscientific data processing and mineral potential assessment, or put in another way, artificial intelligence in geoscience and exploration. This action with, uh, will help us launch a project on AI that is in preparation since a couple of years at Geology Quebec. What do we want to do with or for AI? First, improve the database for all users willing to do AI, principally users from the mining industry or ourselves at Geology Quebec. How do we improve the database? Well, first in making sure of the quality of the existing data, but also in adding more. We see two ways of adding data. New types of data that uh, we can collect from our fieldwork and sleeping data which is hidden in the numerous uh, reports in our library waiting to be compiled as intelligent data in the database. That is why we started a couple of years ago a pilot project of uh, field laboratory where a lot of new information is added to our database. Physical attributes of samples like magnetic susceptibility or density, uh, chemical attributes by portable XRF, systematic uh, photography of samples, and so on. The photo on the, uh, on the right of this slide shows what a field laboratory looks like. We expect to have a lab of this type in most of our mapping projects this summer. Now, for the compilation of sleeping data, we just began to work with Laval University at a project to develop an algorithm to automatically compile information on outcrops from about a thousand geological maps in our library. Information like location and lithologies, but more importantly, structural data, directions and dips of structural elements that are very precious in the interpretation of regional structural maps. The other steps in our AI project is to work on predictive geological mapping. Um, we have begun some tests for this. Eventually, we will also use AI for mineral potential assessment, but uh, it is not in our priori priorities right now. People from the industry do it very well and with some success, and we think uh, our prior priorities uh, for now should go to the improvement of the database used by these people. Which brings me to present you Quebec's uh, geoscientific database, CIGEOM. CIGEOM stands for Système d'Information Géominière du Québec. It has been launched in the mid-90s and has been updated and upgraded since. As for now, users can find information on uh, ge the geology of Quebec at different scales, geophysical data of different types, diamond drill uh, logs descriptions, outcrop descriptions, metallic and non-metallic showings descriptions, data on rock samples and sediment samples geochemistry, and over 80,000 reports of every kind in PDF format. All of this is available free on the web in different formats. Vector data, for example, is available in ArcGIS FGDB or shapefiles or geopackage formats. Here is the CIGEOM web portal. Uh, the whole platform is available in English and in French. Only the free text data in some pages is available only in French. From here, you have access to five sections. The interactive map is the interface you need to consult uh, CGM's data online. I will come back to it in the next slide. 
Examine is the library of CGEOM. You can find as much as 80,000 documents collected over, over the past 150 years. Around 90% of these documents are assessment reports uh, from exploration companies and 10%, uh, around 10% are reports from the government geologists. Around 60% of the, the, the documents are in English, uh, mainly reports from the exploration companies. And all these documents are avail available for free in a PDF format. The third section is for our new type of geological report, the Bulletin Geologique. It is a Wikipedia type geological report that we have begun working, uh, working on in uh, 2016 and used in a regular way since uh, 2018. I will get back later to the Bulletin Geologique. You'll see it is quite interesting. The fourth section is CGM à la carte. That is where you will go if you want to download the vector data or use the web map services. Data can be downloaded for free by Teams, by NTS sheet number or à la carte according to your personal request. Finally, the last section is a direct portal to geophysical data. Now let's get back to the interactive map. Here is an example of the interactive map where uh, two layers of information are presented, the general geology and the metallic deposits. In the menu on the left, you can have an idea of the layers uh, available in the interactive map. Different types of mineral deposits, mining titles, bedrock geology with uh, information on structural geology, outcrops, or more detailed regional geology. Drill holes location, geochemistry of rock and sediment samples, geophysics in low or high resolution, and many other layers. Every uh, element on the map is linked to the database. For example, if you click uh, on a dot uh, in this map, a pop-up will open with a few information on the metallic deposit chosen. By clicking on the name of the deposit here in blue, the whole description of the deposit will appear like it would in CGM à la carte. Uh, in this new window, you can choose to download the information here or go to the location uh, of uh, this information uh, on the interactive map. So, as you can see, the user can go back and forth in the database and the map. This interactive possibility is well exploited in the, the Bulletin Geologique. Uh, since 2018, we have put aside the traditional uh, geological report at Geologie Québec. We decided some years ago to take advantage of all the web tools available to develop a, Wik a Wikipedia-type geological report where the description of the geology is intimately uh, linked to the CGM database. We call this electronic report the Bulletin Geologique. Two principles uh, guide this model first to stop writing long description year after year and go direct to the point and two to use interactions between the database to do so. Here uh, is, a, is an example of a Bolton produced last year. The first thing uh, that popped to your eyes is uh, the feature, the feature info information. In this case, new prospective zone for zinc and rare earth elements. The user can click on one of these features and go directly to this information. The table of content is much the same as in any geological report, methodology, lithostratigraphy, structural geology, and so on. But all these section, sections are directly linked to the database. The geological, geological map is available in two formats, on a multi-layer PDF map or on the interactive map. The methodology part is a good example to illustrate the principles behind the bulletin. Year after year, field geologists rewrite uh, approximately, approximately uh, the same things, trying to find new words so their new report looks different from last year's. Here, the description is kept at, at a minimum. In this case, the area was mapped uh, using the established method for surveys in forest areas served by a network of secondary roads. 
The method is described somewhere else and a link to this description is used. Only the information proper to this project, like the dates and the numbers of the number of persons, is described here. The other data, like the number of outcrops visited or the or of samples collected, appear in the table to the right, with links to the database when possible. For example, uh, 125 samples have been collected for lithogeochemical analysis. The user can click on this link to have access to the database. This link, this link will bring the user to a CGM à la carte window where all the samples are listed. It is then possible to look uh, at the data linked uh, to each of the samples. Here, um, uh, to locate each of the samples on the interactive map, uh, to download all of the geochemical data here, uh, or to view the location of these samples on the interactive map. On the right is the location of all the samples uh, in the interactive map. The user can click on one sample and see uh, the geochemical uh, data and so on. The bulletin, the interactive map and CGM à la carte are linked together. But uh, other informations are also linked together with all that. Here we are at the lithostratigraphy section of the bulletin. Uh, unlike any classical uh, geological reports, there is no description of any stratigraphic unit in the bulletin. Only a description of the relations between the different units in this region, illustrated here by a schematic diagram. All stratigra stratigraphic unit descriptions are in what we call the lexic stratigraphic or the stratigraphic lexicon. For example, here let's go to the lexic stratigraphic to have the description of the Bardo Plutonic Suite. Here is the descriptive sheet uh, for the Bardo Plutonic Suite. The Bolton refers to this page instead of describing the unit. Uh, in the years to come, this sheet will be updated at need if new elements of information are found. The sheet contains all the information needed to describe the geological unit. Geological description, thicknesses, distribution, dating, stratigraphic relationships, and so on. So the user can click uh, on a button to see the unit on the interactive map. For example, here is the location of the Bardot Plutonic Suite uh, on the interactive map. Of course, when clicking on this polygon on the map, the user can access the unit description in the lexicon. It is the same for each unit in the map area covered by the bulletin. The compilation of all the stratigraphic stratigraphic units uh, of the map for all Quebec has begun. There is around 2,000 individual units uh, for all Quebec. I can't say how long it will take, but in the long term we should have a description for every stratigraphic unit on the map. So the user consulting the regional geology layer on the interactive map will have access directly, uh, will have a direct access to any uh, unit description. We also use the same kind of tool for structural descriptions. The lexic structural or structural lexicon contains the description of the structural domains and works the same way. The next step for us is the development of a metallogenic atlas or a metallogenic lexicon containing the description of metallogenic environments. We are working on this concept for now. The bulletin geologic and the associated lexicons offer a lot of advantages. For our client, it means direct interaction between the electronic report and the database, and even the possibility of consulting unit descriptions directly from, from the interactive map without going through any bulletin. The tables and most of the maps uh, in the electronic report are automatically uh, updated when changes are done in the database. For our geologists, the bulletin means uh, no recurrent descriptions of the same stratigraphic units uh, years after years. That leads to a quicker publication of the reports and less edition work. For example, 
uh, for a region mapped in summer from June through August. A preliminary report uh, with a preliminary map is published by the end of November. The final bulletin and map is normally published in June of the following, e following a year, so the whole cycle takes about 12 months. An English version of the final report, uh, including the corresponding sheets in the strat stratigraphic and structural lexicon, is published a few, month, uh, few months later. Finally, the bulletins being web pages, the user can easily have access to, to them through search engines like uh, Google. Now let's get back to uh, the actions of the critical uh, mineral plans. plan. Uh, action 421, promote Quebec's mineral potential and attract more foreign investment in the different phases of the CSM value chain. A $3 million budget is dedicated to the promotion and investment uh, attraction for the five years uh, of the plan. Quebec's presence in the main international mining events should be increased significantly and Jurich Quebec will be uh, coordinating these efforts along with uh, governmental partners like uh, Investissement Quebec, SOCEM or uh, La Société du Plan Nord. In the next months, the efforts uh, will be put on developing promotional tools. For the last few months, we have been working on a new layer in CGM to document exploration projects by the industry. The orange areas on the map to the left, uh, to the right, are uh, active mining claims uh, in Quebec. This database will compile information about the exploration work recently done on these properties and it will serve as a precious promotional tool in the years to come. Finally, as I said before, we are also beginning to work on the first drafts of a metallogenic lexicon or metallogenic atlas to complete the bulletin, the bulletin geologique. This will surely prove to be a good promotional tool when completed. As you can see, the Quebec plan for the development of critical and strategic minerals will bring very exciting years at Geology Quebec. It will lead to new mapping projects and studies on critical minerals, so the global expertise of the team will be improved. The plan will also help to improve the CGM database, which is a good news for exploration companies working in Quebec. Finally, it will bring more visibility on the international scene uh, with the needed resources to promote Quebec's mineral potential. Uh, I would like to, to finish, I would like to thank uh, the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to share with you what we have done and what we will be doing at Geology, Geology Quebec in the years to come. Thank you for your, your attention.